Good evening, and this is The Late Report. The Magnolia Bridge will be reopening on May 8th, a full two months ahead of schedule. Engineers say it's amazing how much faster the project became when they made the simple decision to use duct tape instead of bolts. <laughs> British Columbians caught driving without a valid license or while prohibited from driving may see their cars impounded for 30 days, which works out to about 42 days Canadian. <laughs> Both Washington state senators are targeting the women's vote this month. Patty Murray will host the Golden Tennis Shoe Awards with special guest Hillary Rodham Clinton, while Slate Gorton will spend one day a week from now until the election in drag. <laughs> Construction of Interbay Golf Course, which was designed by Jack Nicklaus, got underway this week. Among the hazards exclusive to this golf course is a two-stroke penalty if your ball lands in an abandoned boxcar and the transient living there won't give it back. <laughs> Seattle Public Schools have a new course called Creating Critical Viewers, which hopes to teach students to think more creatively about television and to be more selective in their viewing habits. The course has brought an immediate lawsuit from executives at the Fox Network. <laughs> Seattle and King County public swimming pools are overcrowded, causing long waits. Officials say the waits at some pools are so long, many swimmers have actually been forced to use the bathrooms to pee. <laughs> Several gay and lesbian rights groups gathered this week for Ellen coming out day parties across the state. Despite the hoopla, however, Mrs. Craswell stayed indoors. <laughs> Finally, legendary rock band Kiss performs on Monday at the Key Arena, this time featuring all of the original members. Music fans may recall the band did play in Seattle a couple of years ago, but a local man was hired to stand in for Gene Simmons. <laughs> This has been The Late Report. Don't go away. We're coming right back.